Chapter 17 of Billy Mink. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Natalia. Billy Mink by Thornton W. Burgess. Chapter 17. The Robbers Decide to Fight. A bad name sticks as naught else can to bird or beast or boy or man. Billy Mink. When one of the young robber rats at the meeting of all of the rats in the big barn boasted that he had never seen anyone he couldn't hide from, all the other young rats nodded their heads in approval. You see, they prided themselves on knowing every hiding place in that big barn, and they never had known an enemy small enough to follow them to these hiding places. When the gray old leader of that robber gang said that unless he was greatly mistaken, they were likely to have a chance to see someone they couldn't hide from, they at once demanded to know what he meant. The old leader looked around the circle of rats, waiting for him to speak. There were big rats, little rats, and middle-sized rats. There were rats gray with age and sleek, brown-coated rats. He counted noses. Every rat of the tribe, save only the babies too small to leave the nests, and the one whom Billy Mink had caught, was present. In the faces of the gray old rats, he could see worry. Like himself, they understood the danger they were in. In the faces of the younger rats, there was no worry. It was plain to see they felt quite confident of being able to take care of themselves. Never in their lives had they met an enemy who they could not run away from, and he knew they didn't believe such an enemy lived. Knowledge of life is obtained only through experience, he began. You who are so sure you can hide from this new enemy are confident because you are ignorant. Cats and dogs you do not fear, because you can go where they cannot follow. But this mink who has found our den can follow where any of you, even the smallest, can go. But if he does not see us hide, how can he find us, squeaked a sharp-nosed young rat? A mink does not have to see in order to follow, replied the gray old leader. You cannot move without leaving a scent where he can follow by means of his wonderful nose. All he has to do is to find where you have been and then follow straight to where you are hiding. He can run faster than you can and longer than you can. There is no escape from him once he sets out to catch one of you. The best fighter among us is no match for him alone. I tell you, friends, our tribe is in danger. It is in the greatest danger it has ever faced. I have called you together to make this plain to you and to get your ideas to what we should do. For a few moments, no one spoke. Then a worried look on the faces of the older rats had crept into the faces of the younger rats. Finally, a scarred old fighter spoke. It seems to me, said he, there is only one thing to do, and that is fight. What one of us alone cannot do, all of us together can. I propose that the next time this enemy appears, we all attack him together. To this, all the rats agreed. End of chapter 17. Recording by Natalia.